Hey YouTube, it's been a while since my last video. I wanted to make a lot more content, but where I worked at the time, it just couldn't work out. They didn't really want me making videos at the shop, which is, you know, their prerogative. It was their place. Uh, but I left there in May of this year because we just couldn't come to an agreement on pay and hours I wanted to work for the summer. They were a really great shop. Uh, thinking about returning to them for the school year. Uh, if you guys don't know, I'm 17, I'm in high school, so I go to school during the day and then I try and work at night whenever I can. But I wanted to work a lot during the summer, save some money, and we just couldn't come to an agreement. So I found a European specialty shop to work at during the summer. I was getting, you know, like 50, 60 hour a week, so I made a lot of money and bought a lot of tools too. But uh, I really liked working there. But as you can see, the, the boxes are at the house. I quit a couple of days ago. It just wasn't really the great greatest place for me to be at when it came to the people and how the shop was ran. But the cars I worked on were really cool. You know, being in the cars myself, working on high horsepower Mercedes, Lamborghinis, making them faster, dynoing them, doing repairs and, and stuff like that. It was a really cool place to be. I really liked working on those cars, but for my own sake, I, I decided enough was enough. I don't really want to get into it too much. I'm ready to move on, but currently looking for a European, another European place to replace working there. Uh, I really liked working on Europeans. So enough of the talking, let's get into the boxes here. Got the five drawer Harbor Freight cart with the side table. And I don't use the can holder just cause I keep, I, I really don't ever really have cans on me. If I need a brake clean or something, I just put it back on the storage rack at the shop. Maybe I'll put it on if I go to a new place, but we'll see. Matco 4S double bank box with the power top there. You got your 110 and then your USBs and then the power drawer right there. I really like this box, especially for what I paid for it. I think I got like got it for like sixteen hundred or eighteen hundred, something like that. Can't complain, you know. It's got a few dings and a couple of scratches up there, but for sixteen hundred bucks, it's a good box. Uh, let's get into the tools here. A little overview: a long pickup tool with a magnet, the Chinese fingers kind of style. Extra long Craftsman screwdriver, flat blade, longer one, flat blade, just your regular length, flat head, short flat head, and then an extra long skinny flat head Craftsman for doing hose clamps on the Mercedes and stuff, and as a little pry bar. Back number three cabinet screwdriver here, and then I got an SK number one screwdriver there snap on stubbies over here got another pickup tool 45 degree hose pick from snap on my favorite radiator hose pick and then this snap on I, this is my favorite one that's second favorite that's why i keep it up here but this flat blade just gets rid of those tight hoses, especially on like superchargers and stuff like on the E55 AMG and stuff like that. CLS 55 AMG, those supercharger hoses and, and for radiator hoses, sometimes even those panel clips because my coworker bought, lost my orange panel clip tool. These work really well. Extra small Matco pry bar, small Matco pry bar. Small Master Force, medium Master Force, and then the extra long Master Force there. These are all made by Wildy, made in the USA. Ear protection, we had an all wheel drive dyno with lots of loud cars, you know, catless downpipes and straight pipe exhausts and big turbos. It, it got really loud in there, and I already have some hearing issues, so wanted to keep my hearing as much as I could, so I got those. 17 millimeter protective lug nut socket from Pittsburgh for your European lug bolts. This thing all rusted out as a CTA, they call it the tuner lug bolt socket. It uh, 
It's for all your Mercedes that have that style and also like aftermarket wheels for European cars. Use that for their lock. Quarter inch to quarter bit adapters from Snap on there. And then these are just all Mac Torx and some DeWalt holders and socket adapters and nut drivers and Phillips and stuff down there. 14 millimeter thin wall spark plug socket, 12 point for your Mercedes, BMWs, Minis, pretty much everything European. Also, you, I mean, you have 16 and 9 or 18 millimeter, but I never needed those. Sorry about the glare. I'm trying to get that. The lighting in here kind of sucks with the door being open, but my 3H drive sockets go from 8 to 19. Sun X, deep and shallow with an extra 10 millimeter Matco, 3.8 impact, and a 3.8 chrome short 10 millimeter Craftsman USA 12 point. Excuse me, four to fifteen in the Sun X quarter inch impact. You don't really need quarter inch impact, but I like to have everything matching. And then gear wrench E Torx from I believe this is E6, and then you got like E7, E8, E10, E12, E14, E8, E10, E12 are you're going to be your most used sizes in the in the smaller, and then E24 and E22. These are the axle nut or axle bolts rather for your Mercedes and stuff like that. That's where you're gonna need those for. I only keep a few of the sizes in here and the rest are in my box. Quarter inch T30, my favorite tool of all time basically. Quarter inch T30 is just unbeatable. If you work on Europeans, you get a bunch of those. Oops. And then my torques here are from Snap-on. They go from 10 to T55. I don't really like these. They uh, tend to twist on me a bunch. If you can see that. They, uh, they're they not the best to me. That This actually happened. I warrantied it from twisting. Used it right after I got it warrantied and it, and it twisted again. That was a brand new fucking bit in there. T25 Blue Point. Found that in a car. I haven't used it yet. 4 to 16 triple squares for your Volkswagen. These are Vim. These are, you know, Volkswagen, Audis, Lamborghinis. And then my snap-on set of hex here, the golds from four to 10. Well used here, you can see the common sizes. I really like the gold hex. They don't really strip out. They're super strong. That's the one bit socket I kind of like from snap-on. And I try and keep the top section clean here. I put a lot of stuff in here. My drink usually, so it doesn't tip over, and some tools when I'm working, but I do have the side table too. I usually put, if I'm working with a part, you know, I usually put the part on the side table and then my tools in here, if I'm doing like a turbo or something like that. In here, got my snap-on pick set in orange, like these pens, paint pens, markers, in there, got a lighter, coast headlamp, aluminum, what is this, uh, 14 by 1.5. This is pretty much all your needs right here for your wheel holders. I got the aluminum one because these Harbor Freight ones are all like steel or something, and uh, they like to damage the wheels if you're not careful. So I got the aluminum one for the really nice like wheels. Coast light, we already went over. A couple magnets here. Pocket screwdrivers. Gotta have those. Mini pry bars from Mac here. I love these. And then a couple Cornwell picks. I got a 90 and a 45 in there. Vim door panel tool. Really like this thing. Kershaw knife for opening boxes and stuff. My coast light. My go-to, this thing gets super bright even in the day. And it's really cheap too, and it's got a lifetime warranty. Bushnell light, just a little tiny light there. And then my Mac, just, uh, you know, you prop that up and you leave it when you're working. Magnetic 
sockets and extensions i mean ratchets and extensions we got the matco here 18 inch i really do like this ratchet but they're really expensive i think even compared to snap-ons ratchets and i only had a matco dealer for a little while flf 80 3 8 drive flex head that's my favorite snap-on ratchet the Husky 3 8 drive, just normal ratchet, Icon, stubby ratchet, like that. Favorite quarter inch here, the long snap-on flex head. Gear wrench, flex head, quarter inch. And my snap-on T72. Couple extensions here, quarter inch, a super long one. Some 3 inch extensions, a 6 inch, another 6 inch, and a 8 inch. This one, Cornwell locking, use it for spark plugs. Mac, impact swivel, 3 8 drive. SK chrome swivel, 3 8 drive. And my quarter inch chrome swivel from Snap-on. I recommend getting these from Snap-on or Mac or SK or like a, a nice brand, because this will hold, you know, it doesn't, it's not super floppy and I've used it with an impact driver like every day. And then my, Wobble Plus from Snap-on quarter inch. I want to get the rest of these in 3 8 and half inch drive because I just really like them. Uh, and here, got the Bremen locking players. I don't really use vice grips all that often. So I just want the cheap ones from Harbor Freight. Mako 45 degree bent players. Needle nose. Nipex Cobras. Nipex diagonal cutters the high leverage ones 47 acf these are my favorite players they go back to their spot uh i really like these because they have that like cross hedge or cross pattern in them and they did a demo on the tool truck where they you know put a piece of paper in it and it wouldn't like pull the paper out it was pretty sick but I really like these. These are my favorite players of all time. And then the continuation of that is the LN47 ACF. Same pattern in there on the needle nose. And then it gets even smaller up on the tip. And it gets wider up there. See, I, these just came out. I already used them a ton. These are the panel popping players. JDT Co. Flush Cut players made in Japan. And... Snap on long needle nose there. That's my player tour. Wrenches in the cart. My favorite wrenches here are these Icon ratcheting flex head with the offset reversible. They just they do about everything. These are my favorite wrenches. Never broke one. Use used them every day. Icon flex head ratcheting. Again, really like those. And then these SK wrenches, six point ratcheting with the really high tooth count because they use like six paws. It has like a basically 244 tooth count, I think, something like that, and like less than a degree swing arc. Snap on 16 ounce dead below ball peen, just a Harbor Freight like 24 ounce or whatever. Ball, or dead blow soft face and then 3 8 ratchet Milwaukee half inch stubby 3 8 drive stubby couple batteries there a couple 6 amps and then uh, 2 amp here 3 amp hour on the impact driver with my Mac tools screwdriver ratcheting screwdriver and bit set oil filter cap sockets and gloves and then my newest tool addition the ATEC 3 8 drive tech angle in orange I think I'm gonna do a video on this kind of going through all the settings and stuff I'll look at the guide and show you a bunch of stuff I got it at the flea market had like basically like two torque cycles on it and I've used it a little bit but I'm excited to use it a lot more for doing like engine work, stuff like that. Got a good deal on it. So I thought I'd pick it up. 
underneath, mechanics, impact gloves, and then just a bunch of um, extra hardware for European cars. These are like gold, if you know what they are. They're the uh, fender liner nuts for like some European stuff. These things, these are like, these are rarer than gold, diamonds, platinum, whatever. These things are amazing to have extras up. And then just a bunch of extra Torx head sockets, or I mean bolts, e-torque stuff. Tore down a few Mercedes engines on a couple blown motors that I did. And a uh, bag for going to the junkyard. You know, I'm in high school. I go to the junkyard with my friends for fun. And you know, they can't even provide the bag, as you guys am probably have made aware I provide the tools. But uh, before we get into the big box, I just want to say, if you're an apprentice and you're watching this, because I'm going to title it Apprentice Toolbox 2 or whatever, you don't need a lot of this stuff. Hell, if you're not working on European cars, you're not going to need triple squares. You're not going to need e-torques, you know, up here. You're not going to need this bit socket thing. I mean, just know what you're working on, get what you're going to get. Um, and what you're going to need. You know, I do this for fun. Collecting tools is for uh, a hobby of mine. I work on my friends' cars as a hobby of mine, and I also do it as a job. So uh, I just kind of put a lot of my money in in tools, which, you know, should be my prerogative. It's where I want my money to go. It's, you know, I only have a few hobbies, and I like collecting tools. So don't think you're going to need all this stuff. You probably don't even need what's all in here if you're just starting out. Um, but I might be ahead of the curve too. You know, I've done a few engines. My first week at the European shop, I told them I was only a first year apprentice and they had me do an engine on a Mercedes. Took me forever, but I did it and learned a lot from it. I've done a bunch of transmissions now, not rebuilding, but just pulling them out, putting them in. And once you learn that cars are just nuts and bolts, brand doesn't matter and stuff like that if something's in your way remove it remember how it goes back it becomes fairly easy you know i'm not saying it's easy to work on cars especially if you're you know new to this hell i even struggle i know master techs that struggle so don't think you're gonna need like all this stuff you know i just collect tools and keep the stuff important in the box but starting over here my rbrt torx these have like a little bend at the tip to um, grab onto rounded Torx. They're extractors and then you can use them as normal Torx too. I just like keeping the snap on in the tray up there. It takes up less space. Mako hex quarter inch metric long there. Sun X 12 point metric impact swivels quarter inch with a magnet. Extra quarter inch shorts from Steelman. Gear wrench, mid length quarter inch there with my extra e torques here and there. My snap on quarter inch chrome set from 4 to 15. The 6 is a Husky. I lost it doing a hose clamp on a Mercedes Turbo, I think, or I don't know, vac vacuum hose, or I don't know. Some sort of hose clamp I lost it on. And I just haven't replaced it. It's just a pile of like, these are all like snap-on sockets. Some are older, some are newer. Some Craftsman in here. So, this one's really old. And then my SK from eight to 20 in the deeps, three eighths drive chrome, and then from six to 20 in the three eighths drive shorts. And then I have an extra 12 millimeter in the seven spot and an extra 10 millimeter in the six spot. Um, maybe I'll find a six and a seven for three eighths drive. I don't know. I've never really need them. Needed it. Extra e torques here from Harbor Freight. My nine to 30 millimeter on the 30 still over here. So get some nine to 30 in the Sun X half inch drive impact sockets. Really like these. Let's see. They get used a lot and like the 21 laser etched has really held up and they're stamped on the back. All the SK or I mean the 
Sunex stuff. So if you do end up rubbing it off, the stamp is still there. My snap-on set goes from 10 to like 29 there. And then from 10 to 22, I'm missing the 19 and the 16. And then a 36 OEM tools, chrome axle nut socket. And then these are the obviously chrome half inch drive. Lug nut sockets from this inch and a quarter, I think, inch, couple seven eights here, a couple 21s here, and a 19 millimeter that is broken. And the Harbor Freight's don't have a lifetime warranty, so I should just throw that out, but whatever. RBRT hex here from four to 10. These again, people think they look like Torx, but they're hex extractors and they work. This will focus. They work really well for their intended purpose. As you can see right there. Again, these fit in normal hex spots and as extractors, but I just like my snap-on ones. Never had an issue with them, so I just kept them. Uh, 12 to 24, Harbor Freight Icon, half-inch drive impact swivels. And these are pretty shallow too, which is nice. 10 to 17, snap-on 3 8 drive chrome swivels. Snap-on 3 8 drive, or this is a Mac, 3 8 drive swivel. And then a Harbor Freight with a 3 8 2 quarter adapter. Westward hex, again from 4 to 10. And then some Mac Torx here, just extra Torx. Pittsburgh quarter inch torques, Pittsburgh quarter inch hex, some small couple T5s and a T10, quarter inch Mac torques, T60, T70, 14, 15. These are just the big sized half inch drive from Harbor Freight. And then my 3 8 drive swivels, impact swivels. These are CarQuest. I never had an issue with them. I found them, I they like paid like $20 from the set used. I really need to upgrade my impact tool 3 8 drive, but those have worked. Snap on, half inch drive, oops, excuse me. Half inch drive, impact, swivel, Sun X, a Mac, couple half inch to 3 8 drive adapters. And then I got two swivels here, both snap ons, the half inch drive chrome swivel. And then half inch drive to half inch, 12 point, just a normal swivel there. And then the longer one here, again, half inch, 12 point for your driveline stuff. Trader valve tool. These are Westward Impact Hex half inch drive from Maybe like six, yep, six to 18. I don't really use them. I've used the, the 10 a couple of times, or the 14, I mean, a couple of times, but that's about it. Um, standard Pittsburgh half inch drive swivels. So lock down. Extra 13 16 spark plug socket. My pile of adapters here. Some Pittsburgh half inch drive spark plug sockets. My snap on and craftsman ones here. Spark plug sockets. Three inch drive swivel from the SK impact swivel. Extra Harbor Freight metric impact swivels. A couple adapters here. Some more Torx. 80 foot pound Torx stick from Capri. Standard hex from snap on up to three eighths and down to, I'm guessing, quarter or one eighth, eighth inch. Standard hex, flip socket from Pittsburgh 19 and 21. These are, these sockets all here are for the belt tool, serpentine belt tool. So they're the super stubby ones. An eight and a 10 snap on. These are just uh, magnetic quarter inch shorts. Really like those. More random torques. 
your aftermarket wheel flip socket for my car's wheels and a bunch of other ones. And then these are Mako flare nut crow's feet. My favorite little triple squares from Vim for Lamborghinis, Audis, and Volkswagens. And I went over those, got this, this tray should be done. Mac, standard 3 8 drive swivels, Cobalt 3 8 drive swivels and 12 point, and then these are 6 point. Craftsman 6 point quarter inch swivels, standard. The standard Maco quarter inch hex. Back here, we got a mix of Snap-on. This is a whole mix set. There's Mac, Craftsman, Harbor Freight, more snap-on, that's a Duralast, I think. Just random half-inch drive standard chromes. A mix of snap-on and Mac stuff here for my half-inch drive standard impact. Just flip this one around. I don't know what that one came from. Um, some random, this uh, 15 16 snap-on here. I think, or no, it's not. These are just some random snap on standard sockets same here and then my standard craftsman i mean uh sk chromes three eighths drive and then my three eighths drive standard impact from sun x with the pegs broke off so that's why those are laying there and then just a random snap on seven eighths quarter inch impact standard sun x Craftsman and Snap-on mix set here of uh, quarter inch chromes. Craftsman shorts there, extras. These are standard CarQuest 3 drive impact swivels. Metric extractor sockets from Harbor Freight there, those suck. And then just Westward standard uh, hex there. And I think that covers the socket drawer here. Hopefully that's the longest one. Wrench drawer here. Start off with the snap-on set. We go from six to 19 and all snap-on wrenches with a couple extra eight and a nine for bleeding brakes. And then 21, 22, 24, 27, 30 and 32 are all Allied International. My 25 and 26 are a Husky Duracraft Pro, I guess. Stanley 15, Stubby, Ratcheting, just found that. And then from 10 to 19 are these Icon Flex Head Stubbies, Ratcheting. And then we got my, these are AN fitting wrenches. You don't ever use the big sizes, just the like a, biggest I used was an eight. Uh, we did a couple twin turbo kits on Lamborghinis and Audi R8s, big turbos on B58s, stuff like that. Upgraded turbos and when you do run new lines for like your wastegate blow off valve or oil feed, oil return, you use these not so you don't fuck up the fittings. Uh, Husky minute midget wrenches. Craftsman USA wrench set, still my favorite wrenches I have. I don't know, I just love them. Couple extra flare nut wrenches from Craftsman. Metric snap-on, standard snap-on flare nut wrenches here. S wrenches from Icon, I've never used them, but got a good deal on them. Cornwall standard ratcheting here. Mac standard, long here. Both these sets go from three quarter to three eighths and uh, the, or five sixteenths on the Cornwell. 15, 16, Craftsman speed wrench, found that on the side of the road. Husky, 15, 16 ratcheting wrench. My Snap-on 12 inch and SK 10 inch adjustable wrenches. Standard open end and flare nut Mac wrenches from three eighths to seven eighths. I actually use the seven eighths on O2 sensors sometimes. 
and then Sears nine uh fifteen sixty fours and one quarter on one end and then a quarter on one end nine thirty seconds on the other and then I go from five sixteenths all the way up to inch and an eighth in my snap on and craftsman wrench set there and that should do the wrench drawer there again if you guys want me to like review any tools in depth like that torque wrench i'm going to do a video on i think or any tools you see that you want me to be like hey how do you like these you know mac standard long wrenches and what they have to offer and stuff like that i can definitely make some more videos regarding the tools and stuff for you guys extensions and ratchets we got my steelman magnetic ones here with the tip on them just a pile of extensions here all different brands husky craftsman sk pittsburgh snap on mac maco you name it it's in there uh, too many to go through but i just really like extensions for whatever reason uh sun x impact extensions half inch drive three eighths and then some pittsburgh ones that go from half inch to three eighths sk swivel or i mean uh, ratchet there round head this thing fucking sucks it's a maco silver ego ratchet quarter inch pittsburgh quarter inch flex head icon swivel use that thing a bunch gear wrench Rates drive swivel or ratcheting, I mean, yeah, flex head ratcheting with the detent. Pittsburgh long 3 8 drive, Williams snap on, snap on, and gear wrench in my half inch drive. Stubby 3 8 flex head from gear wrench, SK thumb wheel, my least favorite ratchet of all time just because of this dumb flex head. I need to get this warranted. 3 8 drive bar quarter inch dry breaker bar and my chain wrench and then a couple fuel line and like hose pinch things and then a lyle impact screwdriver i think that does it for this drawer nipex eight piece set of the snap ring pliers internal external couple cutters from klein i'll put this back I like this lip here because it keeps all these retained um 90 degree matco pliers and then these are all just channel lock all these are nipex or these are nipex and these are all klein i mean mini pliers doyle i bought these to compete Test them out against the snap-on, and for the price, these things are pretty fantastic. Blue point, bigger ones, a couple needle nose, flat bill, nipex, wrench pliers, these tie rod ones from channel lock, and then just a bunch of channel locks, cutters, more needle nose, flat blade needle nose, or the, the duck bill ring hose pliers and then over here vice grips all different ones actual vice grip bremen snap on just a bunch of needle nose valve spring compressor big channel locks hose thing hose pinch pliers tons of needle nose in here i really need to organize this because there's a lot of shit i don't use in here more snap ring pliers oil filter pliers and then more snap ring pliers over there, mainly needle nose stuff there. Screwdriver pick drawer. We have my Cornwell pick set here. Performax pick set. Mayhew cat's paw for your O rings. Icon picks, I'm missing one of the sizes. My favorite snap on handles of all time, the pearl handle ones. Wish there wasn't an owner's mark in them, but really like those. Mac Trader Valve Tool, snap-on quarter inch handle there. Pittsburgh Torx screwdrivers, Mac hose pick, Matco, uh, the, um, what is that? The 
extendable and flex head pry bar there. Pittsburgh uh, mini screwdrivers for my glasses I got. Just keep them in here. Craftsman USA screwdrivers. Another Schrader valve tool. Panel popping things. And then I got, it's just a mixed set of uh, hex keys. More panel tools. Snap-on screwdrivers. And I need to get these handles warranted. But my, drop, my old snap-on guy just did the shanks every time. Screwdrivers, just random ones, all different sizes. Those are all Phillips. And then the snap on our flats. Blue point, filler gauges, standard ball end, Pittsburgh hex here. Snap on, non ball end, hex there, ball end, Torx from snap on, the snap on ball end hex there. And then the snap-on, just regular non-ball end hacks. Extra Craftsman screwdrivers in the back there. And I think that does it for this drawer. Sorry if I'm going a little fast, my back is killing me. So if there's anything you want me to look over again, just let me know in the comments. I look at every comment and like it and usually reply back. Catalogs, receipts, writing pad, super glue, razor blades, brake adjusting tools touch up paint for the box, little notepad, calculator. You know, I'm in high school, so I do my homework at the shop. <laughs> um, catalog here from Snap-on. Got sandpaper below, icon, T-handle, metric. Bought these because my friend has the Snap-on and we compared them. They're pretty much the same. Obviously not the same thing, but pretty close. And we have a Harbor Freight across the street from me, so it makes it pretty nice to warranty stuff. Brake, go, no-go gauge, tire tread depth tool, pens, pencils, more panel clip stuff, paint pens, more ear protection, extra lights, thread locker, red and blue, pens, markers, extra pocket screwdrivers there, extra razor blade, Cornwell catalog. And I think that does it for this drawer. Most important drawer because it has the snacks in it. Uh, bolt organizer here. I haven't used this yet, but um, I don't know. It was like a dollar at Harbor Freight. This drawer is a mess. I need to organize this better, but more snacks in the back. Harbor Freight drill bits down there. Oil filter cups. Some rags. That Milwaukee bit set here. It's missing a bunch of stuff. And then all my bits in my cart are in this Mac tool set. So they're all gone. Um, Macco piston installation hammer. I think it's pretty cool. Craftsman. Three race drive torque wrench beam style for like rear ends and stuff like that. Set that up top. This two. Pittsburgh, the torque wrenches, the um, half inch and three eighth drive, selection of scrapers from Blue Point and Snap On and stuff, Titan, mallet there, Snap On brass hammer, these are some mini files, the threading kit here. Use that a lot. Try not to, but you know, you're gonna have to sometimes. Another just Wilton hammer, I think, here. More Pitts or Titan stuff. Pittsburgh 16 ounce. And then my Mac anti vibe ball peens down there. And then my punches and chisels from Snap On, mostly some Harbor Freight stuff. Throw these back in here. I think that does it for this drawer. All right. Power drawer here. Milwaukee drill. Half inch drill. The hammer drill. Got out. Paid the $100 for this with the battery. Got a good deal on that. Used though. Die grinder Milwaukee with the 3 amp hour battery on it. Really like this. 
run it this thing just eats batteries so just a cheap amazon grinder there and my charger for my lights wrenches for my tie grinders stream light flashlight here ir die grinder harbor freight die grinder chicago pneumatic straight die grinder and then a mac straight die grinder there harbor freight cutoff wheel ir impact there milwaukee stubby i mean matco stubby half inch and then just a normal three inch drive there with some extra air fittings okay mac tools this is my multimeter accessories kit i need to set the phone down here for a second So just all your alligator clips, your battery terminal clips, T-pins, just leads, test leads. There's a whole like guide that tells you what's all in here. So just test clips and pins and test leads and stuff like that for the multimeter. My multimeter is a Klein Tools MM700. It's their like top of the line one, I think. They're, that's when they make it's just a home use meter but it does voltage your resistance um you can set range your amperage stuff like that so true rms take a little drink break here Power probe accessories, the piercing probe adapters, extra leads, extensions, power probe three. It, it, it can be a dangerous tool, but it's my favorite like di electrical diagnostic tool. Just watch South Main Auto's video. He does the power probe four. This is just a dumbed down version of it. This is the power probe three. This is the most common one and read the manual there's a bunch of videos online how to use this watch a few of them you'll be a pro at it i really like that thing power probe soldering iron kit tape battery service kit there with the battery terminal puller i'll never use that thing in my life but it came with the kit micro torch here super lube for your ratchets Mr. Subaru says uh, this is what Snap-on puts in their ratchet, so I just got it at Harbor Freight. Blue Point strippers. Um, these are Ideal Industries, so SK strippers, and then these are Matco, I think. I don't know. I got them a while ago. These are really cool. These are Diamond Grip Terminal Cleaners, the tweezers. So they're like files with in tweezer form and i really like these but you know how it goes when you buy tools you use them a bunch on corroded fasteners or you know connectors but your co-workers got the set but when you buy it you never use them i haven't used those yet of my own i'll tell maxi check my favorite scan tool test leads there from lang power pro, or uh, scope on a rope I got the Harbor Freight one and then just the Mac with the readout. And yeah, just your test leads there. And that does it for the electrical drawer. All right, I set my phone down here to open up this door. It's really full. It's gonna be a minute, but we'll try and make it quick. We got my tube flaring kit from our freight. Things like brand new, I never really needed to use it, but like 90 day warranty, man. This is an old kit. Um, caps, stuff like that for when you get engines in and plugging up hoses and stuff like that. Uh, any C's right there. 
helicoil kit. I forget the size on this. It's on the top, probably. I've only needed it once. Never on a customer's car. It was on my own car. Harbor Freight compression tester from Maddox. The full kit there. The Maddox engine oil transmission pressure tester. Uh, pass-through socket set from channel lock here. This is your basic pass-through socket set, metric standard. O2 sensor socket set. RBRT extractors. These are just the seven piece set with the foreign object removal so it'll screw off. These are just the cases for the hex and the Torx. This right here is my stamp coolant pressure tester. I need to get the adapters for it. Terminal tools from Macro. I think the Proto makes this set. So all your pins there, um, stud extractors, they're just the stud pullers, spline extractors from Matco. I'm lucky to say I have never really needed to use any of these extractors in here. And then uh, I keep a lot of like extra hardware, so extra washers, shrink wrap there extra self tappers and then bore extractors never use them but you need them when i probably will need them more extractors there these are some just extra hex keys and the rigid screw extractor set hex cap screws i wish harbor freight sold the, a Torx set and an e-Torx set because I use those a lot more on Europeans. Metric set there and then just a washer set there. Or these are nylon locking nuts and then this is the metric set. Zip ties, nut drivers in this bag. This uh, spark tester, so just, you know, the spark plug thing. And then these are Deutsch. Uh, terminal release tools so for your big trucks and stuff so just a bigger set of what's in there more caps plugs testing stuff battery terminal thing just extra hardware i have it all labeled zip ties plugs brass fittings banjo bolts die grinder accessories extra metric bolts this is a noid light test kit you can use the power probe too but this is just super easy and it's like 20 bucks or something so picked it up and then this is a matco zero to 250 inch pound dial torque wrench for rolling torques it's a three it's drive which sucks because it's in inch pounds but i got it for free so I'm not complaining. Well, maybe I am. I don't know. Um, and I think that does it. I'll just put all this back when I'm done. But if you guys want to see any reviews on any of the tools, if you want to see, um, you know, any in-depth tours of anything, if I missed anything, let me know. I always feel like I missed something and you're going to want to see it more in depth. And I also feel like the video being like 50 minutes long is just ridiculous. But uh, let me know. I just really like tools. I like going through stuff. So I can do like a power pro video for you. I can do this multimeter, the torque wrench, a bunch of these tools. Uh, a couple tools I missed. Cornwell slide hammer. Uh, this is the OTC one, but it's just branded Cornwell. And then... These are all just 
tools for the house and stuff. Another light right there, but um, yeah, if you want to see anything else, let me know. Again, I bought all these tools. Either they were gifted to me from retiring mechanics, gifted to me for Christmas and stuff, and majority of them I bought myself. Um, and you know what? You got to do it smartly because if I didn't, I'd be in tons of debt. I bought a lot of these tools used at flea markets, at estate auctions, stuff like that. Um, so you just got to buy your tools smart. I use Facebook Marketplace a lot, stuff like that. But again, if you're an apprentice, you don't even need half this stuff. A lot of this stuff's working for Europeans. So if you don't work on Europeans, you don't need it. A lot of master mechanics will have less tools than I do and still be a better technician than I probably ever will be. So just don't get caught up in that. Again, this is not daddy's toolbox. I collect tools for fun. It's just one of my hobbies. So it's not like I don't like tools and I need them for the job. I actually like tools. So, um, but yeah, if you like the video, please like, subscribe. I'm going to make some more videos for you guys here, whatever you want. And I'll try and come up with some of my own stuff too. If you didn't like the video, you can dislike it. Just let me know in the comments. Leave a comment. Tell me what you liked about the video, what you didn't like, anything else you'd like to see. And um, if you do do in, in the comments, I like them all and I respond to them all. So just let me know how that goes. And I'll see you in the next one. Hopefully in like a week or so, I'm, I'll come up with another video. But yeah, within that time, I hope you guys enjoy this one. Thanks.